This is not good, guys. This is not good. Everyone brace for impact. Today, we're going to be flying this 101 A380, and we're going to have some engine troubles. Let's get started. All right. Hello, hello, passengers. Am I on the right floor to actually drive this plane? I think I am. Yep, right here is the pilot's area. So how do we get this thing started? Oh, there's quite a bit of buttons, but actually not a lot for what I was expecting for this type of plane. All right, so we need our main battery on avionics emergency evacuation. Oh, we got, we got to test that, of course. We're just going to turn on everything here. Hydraulics on. Um, Yep, everything is being turned on right now. I don't know what I'm clicking. I just feel like it's right. So APU starter, generator, climate control for cabins, and then engine starters. I think that's what you do. All right. I think we're starting up. I do hear the engines actually spooling up right now. Um, we're going to turn on some of our lights here. So nav lights, logo lights, and strobe lights. There we go. Seat belts on. No smoking. Cabin lights are on. All right. You guys have lights back here? Yes, you do. Perfect. All right. Um, all engines are on. Wait. Three and four are not like actually on. I think they're actually on. It's just because this thing has too much exhaust going out of it. Only three and four like say it's not on. Okay. Okay, I think we're good though. All right, so let's go ahead and turn off our park brake and full throttle for takeoff here. Hopefully everything's on. Three and four are kind of worrying me because I would not know if any of those are actually even on. Besides, the, it's kind of like glowing yellow under them. All right, we are going to take off here. We're going in a perfectly straight line, so I think we got it all correct. Let's see if this thing can actually um, take off by itself. Um, let's see, will it pull up? Uh, oh, yep, it is. That, there we go. That's not me. I'm not controlling this. Okay, it pulled up, and we're gonna put our gear up also. And there we go. But um, it's continuing to go up at this angle. I don't think this. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the landing gear. Okay, don't put the landing gear up. Oh, it's broken already, guys. It's broken already. I forgot about that. Yeah, so we've lost all control already. Um, I think it hit all of our computer systems. Yep, so this thing cannot have the landing gear up for some reason. I have no idea why, but it's really bad. Anyways, I think we're good for takeoff again. Now, three and four are only on, it says. But you know what? That's fine. We'll just have to deal with that. But we cannot put our landing gear up because it will break our game. I don't know why, but you know, that's just how it works. But all right, we are in the air. Um, let's activate altitude hold here. Um, let's do like... Um, um, we'll do 1500 for altitude hold. Hopefully that's not too much. So where do we put this on at? Altitude hold is on. There we go. Um, I hope it's trying to level it us out. This is a pretty aggressive altitude hold, if I'm going to be honest. Um, normally it doesn't drive us A380 straight vertical. I, I'm just not used to that normally. Um, yep. I don't know. It's still, I don't know what it's doing, to be honest. All right. I think it's starting to actually level out. Maybe not really. Yeah. I think today we're going to be flying to the Arctic, which is 105 kilometers that way. That will not be a problem. This thing's pretty fast so um, let's turn on engage autopilot. There we go. It is starting to turn us towards the um, autopilot location. Perfect. I don't know what this means, but it, I like have to have it on for anything to work. But once we start leveling out here, I hope we're not going to continue at this angle. If we do, we're going to crash straight into the actual mainland here. Um, slightly concerning. All right. I think we leveled out. It's just turning now. Um, seat belts are still on, right? Seat belts, seat belts. Um, no, they're not. Ooh, I'm going to get fired. Okay. Um, seat belts are on. No smoking. Um, you shouldn't have a smoke thing in the first place. All right. I think we're good for cruising mode here it is leveling out all right we're gonna put it on like um 70 percent throttle hopefully we don't fall out of the air if i do that um i think we're good all right so let's run through a bit of a tour of this thing this thing is massive it has a very nice fully decked out one-to-one -one interior on it very cool plane it is in the description if you want to go check it out but up here's the um cockpit where we drive this thing at going straight towards our waypoint and let's go back here so let's see where should we go first um above or below i think we're gonna do a below tour for now so we have some of our passengers down here some normal passengers um with some bathrooms um emergency escape hatches oh this one actually works oh i probably shouldn't open that in midair also but yeah it's a pretty cool plane um we have a clear view of the wings from right here there probably should be a emergency exit about right here but um there isn't um yeah concerning a little bit not gonna lie oh wait this is it right here i think um okay you know what? that's fine um we can lock on an a380 wing wow this is really cool all right um well this is a really thick wing okay oh oh gosh we're sliding around a little bit i'm not moving okay we're doing the moonwalk that's fine um that's the island we actually departed from oh we need to be careful oh gosh oh gosh okay get back on the wing this is really scary this is really bad okay um we're gonna probably get back inside this is a little bit dangerous um, i forgot to mention i'm also captaining this thing so yeah definitely want to get inside here all right so interior wise this thing has so many seats it's really cool though um ender air right there with some flight attendant stuff in the way back here with in op doors right here that cannot open because they are broken but let's go all the way back up here and actually go up to the first class line it has a very nice bar up there you'll be surprised the difference from up here and down there like yeah i can already see from here all right so what's going on up here hello hello all right so we have our first class little rooms right here these are very expensive rooms by the way probably around five thousand per flight for these rooms right here just to like be in a little cozy room by yourself and we have the grand bar right here with one of our first class members that's supposed to be inside of his room 
um, out here in the chair, which is fine. You know, it's just what he wants to do with our Rolls Royce star ceiling looking very nice. And then Debbie right here. I'm pretty sure I just have to take a really lucky guess here. She was operating the bar. I don't know why she kind of like escaped there, but you know, that's what she's doing. Yep. Look at her. The best bartender ever. Anyways, um, we were going to go over here. So look at these first class things. We got a full on TV right here with some stuff right here. So we have a camera. So we have an estimated time to arrival to our autopilot waypoint 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, that's actually really cool. This is a very cool plane, if I'm gonna be honest. It is starting to get nighttime, um, a little bit concerning. Anyways, um, so we can go to our map here, and is it a Lua map? Can we click around? No, we can't, I don't think. And then we have a whole bunch of those first class. I think this is actually the lowest class right here. These seats look like the absolute worst seats in the plane, if I'm gonna be honest. Um, yeah, but then we have first class flight attendant stuff, first class business bathroom. But yeah, that's basically the plane. It is pretty cool. Definitely recommend to go check it out in the description of this video. All right, so let's go ahead and actually fly this thing. Everything's looking clear how high are we we are let's see probably 5,000. um that is pretty high but like it really feels lower than that all right master warning wait oh wait did we just enter like a snowy area hold on oh my gosh guys do you guys see that there's snow outside of the airplane oh it's cold out there okay is cabin climate control on yes everything's on for climate control i think we're good um yeah everything's on that needs to be um let's see we need to turn back on our nav lights logo lights and strobe lights okay there we go now it's looking much nicer out here but that is not good dude oh my gosh it's really starting to get um patchy out here so what is going on i mean the snow does make the flight much quieter from like all the suppression from the outside that is a perk right there you could say but you know what? we're doing good let's go check up on some passengers i'm pretty sure i'm the flight attendant here and also the captain um a little bit sketchy but all right you guys want any debbie's cookies she sells some really nice cookies the ceo is actually up there i say that every time because she's always riding our planes i don't know why if any of you guys want to go see her she's up there in the first class bar line that is where she is working today for some reason she should just be a first class passenger right here so why don't we just put her right here you can go relax lady you know you can go in your bed all right have fun in your first class um same with you sir you want anything else you want me to refill your coffee right there i think you're fine all right so let's see what's going on in the bar here let's see what kind of sneaky stuff she's been making all right so we have some weird potions over here i don't know what in the world she brought on this plane she brought all of her own supplies so i don't take any responsibility for what she put in them either but all right it's looking good clear flight um we have some islands down there do we have like a map in here that we can even use for ourselves that's kind of sketchy um we don't okay that's fine yep and right, we're gonna start lowering our altitude here we are a little bit too high if i'm gonna be honest for an a380 we're probably getting completely decompressurized if i'm gonna be honest actually no we were definitely probably high enough we could go much higher should we do that i don't know all right leveling out at our new altitude oh my gosh wait i can see the water from here you guys see that dude it is wavy down there what is going on um that is not good okay so we should probably maybe hold on let's open our map here see what kind of patch of rain we're in oh my gosh okay we are just barely dodging a storm right now that is good and then let's go to fog right here fog's fine rain we're in a little bit of a patch um i think rain counts as snow since we're in the arctic so a little bit of a patch of rain and then wind is absolutely crazy down over there but at least we're leaving that all passengers all passengers please oh wait engine three. Oh, um wait what just happened uh did engine three just cut off it still says it's like on you see the yellow wait no it's not yet engine three is not on hold on what's going on in here engine three is at where's engine three it's zero it's like going down to zero and everything else is at 74 um engine three is having issues okay turn off autopilot turning off everything right now oh that's oh it's really bad it's really bad oh i'm trying to counter it it's getting really rough guys oh i should not be doing this okay engage full thrust full thrust oh okay actually no not full thrust we're gonna enter a flat spin we are entering a flat spin right now okay cut down the throttle we are going down we are going down okay turn off oh this is not good guys we are going towards the seafloor currently i'm trying to rise oh i'm trying to rise the best i can right now i'm using all of my pilot capabilities it's just not working okay i'm going full left full left um okay you know what we're gonna turn back on full damper and um engage autopilot and altitude hold that honestly probably did better for us oh this is rough um so engine three has just cut off i'm pretty sure these airlines are supposed to fly only on one engine if this is ever happens oh wait are we entering a flat spin oh we definitely are okay great to know great to know okay so what do we even do i don't know well it's good that i was trained for this okay turn off all of this um is it all off no it's not okay we're going to fly towards our waypoint here and now full left rudder and also angle the plane to the left here to keep it straight and full left rudder there we go all right my piloting skills are coming to work we are flying without engine three currently that is rough guys that is really rough all right so engine three is at zero engine three is also at zero on here okay not good um we're at a slight angle right now passengers oh 
I think Debbie was standing up. No, I think we put her back down. Yeah, everyone's sitting down, I'm pretty sure. Yep, everyone's sitting down. Great. Um, that's probably necessary. Uh, Seatbelts are still on. I forgot to turn that off when we were kind of level there for a little bit. But all right, just um, 56 kilometers to go, kind of like this, unless Engine 3 decides to start back up again, which it's not looking too good, honestly. Um, we're completely inverted right now, if you guys didn't notice. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? I just need to get altitude here. I'm kind of panicking. Oh gosh. Okay, um, this is really bad. This is really bad. A380 is not good in these snowstorms, guys. I don't think our engines were made for this. Oh, we're starting to enter the flat spin. Okay, full left, full left. Oh, oh, um, guys, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Oh, um, okay, that's great. Okay, um, we are having some issues. All hydraulics are on. We are currently stalling out of the air right now. We are in a flat spin nosedive currently. I don't know what's going on. It's not looking good. Okay, I'm just gonna keep trying to pull up here. Pull up, maintain, maintain the altitude. What's our altitude? Okay, just turn on altitude hold for that. Okay, no, altitude hold is on. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to full throttle, full throttle. Here we go, full throttle throttle is engaged oh wait we need to turn off altitude hold we don't need that on probably okay autopilot's going back on also um wait did engine 3 spool back up it kind of looks like it did um it's kind of like glowing um engine 3 is trying to spool back up to 128 oh that's a crazy rps okay calm down with that we're gonna go back down to 70 here um we're still spinning in the air though slightly concerning um i hope it'll recover itself autopilot please guys it's not going to our waypoint and autopilot's on okay um what do i do what do i do turn off autopilot let me control this thing okay everything's off here we go i'm I'm controlling this thing now we're gonna be taking some evasive maneuvers to dodge all the snow even though that's literally impossible there's too much of it oh um wait did engine 3 turn off again what's going on i'm going completely straight right now i think it's i think engine 3 still turned off um engine 3 completely died on us oh my gosh okay engine 3 engine 3 engine 3 has completely stalled out on our monitors here we're gonna be completely restarting it so we're gonna turn off engine 3 from right here nope where's engine 3 engine 3 fuel cut off there we go okay engine 3 is completely off our grid currently Yep, it's completely off. And now we're going to be restarting it. So turn on all that stuff right there. And starter on engine three. Please start back up. Oh, it's looking really rough, guys. It's not looking good for engine three. Oh, no. I think we're going to have some issues here. Um, Yeah, so normally it's supposed to accelerate a little bit faster than that. Um, Okay, so we're definitely engine three's donezo, I think. Um, How far are we? We are 59. Dude, we've been like kind of back trailing here. We aren't even going the right direction. Oh, gosh. Look at all those clouds down there. We are so high up. All right, you know what? I'm trained for this turn off wait what is engine three has stalled so we're gonna turn off two and three there we go two and three have been shut off and there we go wait was that it nope it's still going to it's going to the left now what wait what's going on um so engine four is producing too much thrust so engine four is at 131 one's at 130 what how is that even possible why are we still turn oh it's autopilot okay then you know what that's good then all right so i think we recovered everything we need to check up on passengers i don't know if they're even still alive at this point um we've been in a flat spin for like five minutes straight here so i really doubt it but anyways 58 kilometers to go um altitude hold is on at by 3,000 actually we're gonna go back up to 5,000 I just don't feel like okay 5,000's on we're still going down to 5,000 that's pretty insane we're gonna turn it off and on yeah it's still there we go all right leveling out once and for all okay hopefully we have like a doctor on board after what just happened because that was crazy all right so everyone okay back here hello you guys are on full health all right if you were standing up i can guarantee you are not alive right now so it's probably good that we put debbie in here yep she's still taking her nap probably not taking a nap anymore but you know what she's she's fine all right so everything going good in here yep okay hope your coffee's doing well it's probably all over the place anyways um 54 kilometers to go well that was a little bit rough engines two and three are currently not on should we try restarting them everything's on for them still so you know what why don't we try restarting them okay two and three are spooling back up here we go two and three are restarting here two and three they're both in sync so that is good here we go will it actually turn back on and not oh wait engine two's yeah so engine three is definitely having issues here as you can tell um it's not spooling up as engine okay nope just turn it off turn it off turn it off we are going to start spinning here okay it is off why is our autopilot like not working at all um okay who knows all right passenger oh oh okay yep we're definitely gonna enter a flash spin in this case okay activate all engines i can't turn it on okay all engines are being spooled up right now engine four is on okay cut all throttle cut all throttle so we will stop this flat spin once and for all there we go oh engine three has black smoke coming 
out of it. What in the world? Um, okay, hopefully this will do. Um, can we please like pull up here? It's not looking good for us, guys. It's not looking good. Full throttle. I don't care what has to happen. Full throttle. Um, oh yeah, this is looking good. Wait, we've been damaged. We have cockpit damage. Oh, all of our electric. This is not good, guys. This is not good. Everyone brace for impact. We've lost all control. Oh, we've crashed straight into the ocean. Oh, wait, are we gonna float back up? Oh, there we go. Please reverse thrust. I'm holding number two. Will that work? Um, it's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. We just crashed into the ocean. What in the world? That happened so fast. We just entered a flat spin and crashed. Oh my gosh. What's going on out here? Are you guys doing good? Okay. Um, yep. You're just doing some break dancing. All of our passengers are having some fun out here. Oh, slow motion dancing. Oh, there's some blood. Okay. Anyways, let's go back up here. There's some air actually still inside the airplane. I'm going to be swimming up the aisles that are filled with water for some reason. All right. Here we go. Some fresh air. Oh, yes. And then let's exit outside of this door right here that is inoperable. Oh, um, this thing's going down, guys. This thing's going down real quick. And we have our last pocket of air right here. And the doors don't even open. Um, okay. So what do we do? It's not opening. Please open like right now. Hello, hello. Open the door. Um, there goes our air. Guys, we have around like five seconds of air. There's like no way. Okay. Um, yeah, our passengers are not doing too well down there. Where's Debbie at? Debbie's, oh yeah, she's in our first class lounge. Probably, wait, was she standing up? Oh my gosh. She was standing up when that happened, wasn't she? Okay. Well, Debbie is a goner. Wait a second. I remember that the wing exit actually worked. So we're going to swim down there. Hold your breath. Here we go. Where is the wing exit? Go, go, go. Actually, we need to go back up to the cockpit and activate emergency evacuation. I think that'll actually open all the doors here. So here we go. We're swimming down. I'm trying to like swim in a circle to stay. All right, here we go. Emergency evacuation. It's on. Here we go. Get out of the airplane. Get out of the airplane. Okay, it opened all the doors. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, now that thing opens all the doors. There we go. All right, it's probably time to swim back up. Do not swim near those engines. They're probably still trying to start up. All right, we are going to go back up here, dude. This thing is going down pretty quick. Actually, there's still a little bit of air in it. That's why it's floating still. Oh gosh, sinking plane survival. Someone to help me. I'm on the back of a plane currently. This is not what I expected. I also am the pilot and I'm also the only survivor, I'm pretty sure, unless you like rescue some people in there. But that's probably going to be for this video. Let me know if we should do some more plane crash survivals. Of course, this thing crashed so insanely fast. Flat spins do not play around, especially in the biggest passenger jet in the world right here. But make sure you guys like it, subscribe, hit that bell, join the Discord. Link is in the description. But thanks for watching and goodbye.